Oh, hey! You're that wizard guy! What's up? Uh, I don't speak sign language, wizard. You're gonna have to talk. Huh, strange guy. I had other plans for the day, but now I've gotta see where this goes. Welcome to Ryan's world! Sore throat. Ah, a sore throat, eh? I know what can help. A science lesson! What will the lesson be about, doctor? Osmosis! Os what is? It's when a lot of tiny things are all crammed together in one area, so they move through a barrier to another area, so they can spread themselves out more evenly between the two spaces. Does uh, that kind of thing happen often? Osmosis happens every day whether we realize it or not. Osmosis happens when we water a plant, when our kidneys filter out something bad out of our bodies, and when our fingers get pruny after a bath. What does any of this have to do with our friend here? Another famous example of osmosis is when you gargle salt water to help a sore throat feel better. I guess who's looking for this bottle of salt? Well, since I have this in my hands, let's demonstrate osmosis. Let's get ionic! Let's get ionic! Are you ready? We're about to see osmosis in action. For this experiment, we'll need some potatoes, salt, cutting board, a knife, a wooden spoon, water, and some bowls. And as usual, with any experiment that involves something sharp, make sure you have an adult around to help you out. First, I'm gonna separate our bowls, and then I'm gonna pour water into both bowls. One bowl is going to be our experimental bowl, and in that bowl, we're gonna pour in some salt. And with our wooden spoon, we're gonna mix it. And for this bowl, we're gonna do nothing to it. It'll serve as our control, meaning whatever we see in this bowl, we'll compare it to this. Next, I'm gonna grab my pre-sliced potatoes, and I'm gonna put half in here, and the other half in here. And we wait for 20 minutes. <laughs> it has been 20 minutes, and I'm ready to check out these potatoes. Let's check out our experimental group first, okay? Whoa, okay, right off the bat, I can feel that it's a little mushy. Yeah, it's very soft and mushy. I feel like I can almost, oh, there we go. Ooh, okay, so that was pretty easy. Now let's check out our control group. I can tell that this one is still hard. So why is that? First, we need to know that potatoes, like all plants, have water inside them. That's how they keep their shape. So, when I put the potato in the salt water, the water inside the potato wanted to get out and spread out and join the salt water outside so that there could be an even amount of water in the potato and the bowl. This loss of water left the potato all soft and mushy. We call this process osmosis. What does any of this have to do with our friend here? Ah, well, sore throats often feel that way because there's something called bacteria in them. Bacteria are tiny little things that can make you sick. And just like the potatoes from earlier, bacteria hold water. So, when you gargle salt water, the water is drawn out of the bacteria and into the salt water as it tries to even out the two areas. This loss of water leaves the bacteria weak and mushy, just like the potato. When you spit, the weakened bacteria gets flushed right out, leaving you feeling much better. Did gargling salt water work? Do you feel relieved? Wait! Hold that thought, Wizard. I almost forgot. We need to take our quiz. The question is, which of the following is not an example of osmosis? Is it A, watering plants? B, our kidneys filtering out waste? C, our fingers getting pruny after taking a bath? Or is it D, moths flying towards a source of light? D, it's D, the moth thing. You're right, Coco. It's D, the moth thing. <laughs> well, would you look at the time? It's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, stay ionic. Bye. I don't know. Just talk to Teresa from finance. You ruined the macaroni Thanksgiving last year. You're not doing it again. <laughs> 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 there we go. <laughs> <laughs>